we are impassioned to make a difference. Yes, it does come at a painful price, but hey, it's worth it because the culture needs to confront these questions. And this is the hope for America, is by making people think about what we're doing to ourselves. MSNBC blatantly excludes Congressman Ron Paul off the list of second quarter top fundraisers. Congressman Paul, who raised $4.5 million, should be listed as second place on this list. Ron Paul is the big winner in today's Values Voters Summit straw poll in Washington. A key group of Republican voters making their top picks tonight. Why do we have to have a license to get married? Why don't we just go to the church? I'm for less interference in the marketplace. And I think if the Congress shall write no law regarding freedom of speech and expression, uh, the court shouldn't do it either. Form of socialism, and socialism doesn't work. The bubbles come from the Fed, the depressions come from the Fed, the inflation comes from the Fed, and people are waking up. The founders would be ashamed of us for what we're putting up with. Friends, we do a lot of things up here. Probably 90% of the things we do up here is not in the Constitution. But the Many Americans justifiably fear their own government because I see the other candidates as all representing the status quo and not wanting any significant changes in our foreign policy or changes in our monetary policy in addressing the Federal Reserve. Ron Paul. Barney Frank have combined to introduce legislation on decriminalizing marijuana.